I'm Sam, and this is my life story. I was born in Batamong province in 78. The genocide in Cambodia started in 1975 to 1979. My parents are from here, but during the war time, we got, we, we fled. We left to the States when I was about 11. The, the first time I stayed in 1989 was Dorchester. A lot of Vietnamese community, a lot of Cambodians, so I didn't have to speak a word of English. Like, I was able to communicate with them, eat with them, talk to them, play games with them. So, didn't really feel like I was too far away from home. In college, I, I, I studied political science, because again, I wanna, my, my, my dream, my goal is always to want to be able to find a way to help people. Then I graduated in 2001, and my mom said that's, that there's no way that she will let me come back to Cambodia to help. So, but then I, I still have, uh, to find a way to help people. Then I started working for John Hancock in Boston. I was there for about eight years working in operations. I got my 9 to 5, I got my house, I got my car, but I wasn't happy, Some, something was missing. Then my boss boss said they can open Manulife in Cambodia. They opened, you serious? I ended up having a, a, a VC with the uh, CEO of Cambodia, Manulife Cambodia, Robert Elliott. He said, get it on, I'm here. And I'm still here, going three years. I, I, I may be one of the few people that experienced culture shock twice. When I went to the States, I could not eat lunch. I don't, I don't eat burgers, I hate cheese, I don't eat hot dogs, like, what is this? It took me 20 something years to learn how to speak, to get used to the food. And then I got here, and then I go, oh, Cambodian people, all my people, you know? I feel I fit in, I feel like at home. A month or two later, actually I had this conversation with Robert Elliott. I said, Robert, I think I'm American. I want my hot dogs, I miss my burgers, I want my pizza, I, I, I can't do this, this rice thing every single day. So now I'm, 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 I'm learning the people here are very nice, they're very sweet. So I, I, I do feel in, deep inside, I do feel like I, I do fit in. I believe in destiny. The only thing I know is, if not for Manuel Ivor Hancock, I would not have a chance to be here. My work here in Manuel Cambodia, it's, honestly, it's, it's very rewarding. So everything we do, everything we touch, I can feel the impact. Every project I'm a part of, every decision that I make, I can really change. That's why, that's why I love being here. I can see the man like Cambodia is moving and it's moving up. Giving to the, back to the community, helping people in a higher, bigger volume. I'm very proud to be a part of that and I will always tell anybody that I'm a part of that. So for the next generation of Cambodians, take the opportunity, be here and make a difference. Thank you for watching Featuring Asia. If you have a story to share, write to us at the email address on your screens now.